hmm, this one's gonna be good. Not. Sandwiches, and I'm gonna do it with this. It's the Sweet Spot Ice Cream Sandwich Maker from VAT19. The same people that brought you the world's largest gummy worm and the world's largest gummy bear. It says create classic ice cream sandwiches at home. Recipe book included. Here's a look at the back of the package. It's a really fun way to make ice cream sandwiches. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what you get in the box. Right here we have the instructions and recipes. Right here we have the maker neatly wrapped up. And then we also have down here a nice spatula. Let's open this up and bam! It actually looks like a giant ice cream cookie. Get apart. There we go, look at that. This is cool. Here's the inside where the ice cream is gonna go. Here's a look at the spatula. So right here we have the molds for the cookie part. But first we need to make the cookie batter. We need to put all of our ingredients into a big mixing bowl. Okay, so here we have a half cup of butter. Okay, now we need two thirds cup of sugar. So let's get that. Ready, set, go. Now we need to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon and a half. Okay, next, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Let's put that in. There we go. Let's put in one eighth teaspoon of baking soda. One cup of flour. Whoop. Okay, let's add in one cup of cocoa powder. That's gonna make it chocolatey. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Pour it in quick. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add our four egg yolks. Ooh, nice and slimy. And last, we pour in one cup of hot water. Okay, time to mix this stuff up. Here it goes. Got it all mixed up. Next, we need to take our brownie molds and put them onto a cookie sheet. Lightly spray the mold so they don't stick. Next, we put one tablespoon of batter into each mold. Looking good. Next, we need to take our spatula and spread it out like this. Warning, this part can get a little messy. Now we just lightly tap it to get the air bubbles out. Okay, time to stick this in the oven. You need to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Okay, now we just bake it for 10 minutes. Okay guys, here are our baked brownies. We're gonna take one tray out, this is gonna be our bottom, and over here, this one will be the top. Okay, so we have to take our ice cream mold and snap it onto our bottom brownies, like this. Okay, we're gonna lock it in place. There we go. And now it's time to put in our ice cream. You can put in any flavor you want. I have vanilla and mint chocolate chip. We'll make the first one vanilla. You just need to scoop it out and put it in the little ice cream mold. This part is good if your ice cream isn't too hard because then it spreads nice and smooth. I'll do two vanilla and two mint chocolate chips. Okay, now it's time for some special ingredients. I'll teach them a lesson. I've got some spicy red pepper, sour cream and onion crickets, and cheddar cheese larvettes. First, let's start off with some red pepper. Okay, here it goes. I hope they like spicy ice cream. Mmm, this one's gonna be good. Not. All right, I think that's enough of that. Now it's time for some worm action. Sorry, little dude, I'm gonna have to put you on ice. Help, it's cold. Oh. 
Someone's gonna get a crunchy ice cream sandwich. Finally, let's put some crickets. These are like the things we fed our gecko. Ugh! Oops, we don't wanna waste any legs. Oh, yes. Okay, and all that's left is to sandwich them together. Snap it into place. Time to freeze this up. I hope they like my creations. After letting them cool for an hour, it's time to take them out. Okay, so here it is. Now we're gonna remove them from our mold. So we're gonna take off the top. Whoop. Mm. And then we're gonna take out the bottom. Okay, now we need to push them out. Hey, let's try this out. Oh man, which one of these has the crickets or worms? I think this one is safe. Yep, this is the one. These are pretty good, but I wonder what my family's gonna think of these. It's good, you can't see the crickets or worms. Better go put these in the freezer before they start to melt. So that's the ice cream sandwich maker. If you want to try it out for yourselves, head over to That19. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.